اللهم لبيك لبيك لا Massage commission has made the necessary for your comfort. The preparation is very good. I'm very happy, extremely happy, because this is my first time. And I prepare to follow the rules and regulations given to me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Hello, I am Rashida Abu Bakr welcoming you to another edition of the program as you answer the call. Glad to be with you once again. Children's education and enlightenment are part of the activities lined up by the National Heart Commission of Nigeria, NACON, to ensure that prospective pilgrims are well informed about the do's and don'ts of Hajj and Umrah. This is in addition to other services provided by the Commission, all designed to make the Hajj and Umrah heat free and less cumbersome. Tonight in our Spotlight segment, we shall be looking at what NACON has in place to ensure that pilgrims have value for their money during Hajj and Umrah. Also in the program are our regular segments such as Narcon News Diary, Making the Hat and the Quiz. All this and more shortly. Keep watching. Every Muslim is a potential pilgrim. To make the Hajj possible for the Ummah, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Narcon, is running a Hajj saving scheme through Jai's Bank. The scheme allows depositors to gradually save for the Hajj over a period of time. Registration into the Hajj saving scheme is ongoing for all Muslims. Muslims wishing to perform Hajj can be enrolled into the scheme through the following outlets. Narcon offices across the country, state pilgrims welfare boards, agencies and commissions, any branch of Jai's Bank in the country. Enrollment can also be done directly by logging into dedicated sites for the scheme. Let's participate and support the Hatch Saving Scheme for better Hatch services. Welcome back and thanks for being there. The program begins with the news diary. Top on the lineup. Nathan Command State and Zonal Offices for preparing early for the 2023 Hatch and as Man Airline congratulates Nakon as Nigerian gets additional slot for this year's heart. Stay tuned for the details. <laughs> In Kaduna State, payment of Hajj fare for this year's Hajj has commenced. This followed its formal launching in Zaria by the State Pilgrims Welfare Agency. Emir of Zazo, Ambassador Ahmad Nuhu Bamali, flagged off the pilgrims' registration at his palace. The event took place on Thursday, the 5th of January, 2023. As directed by Narcon, pilgrims can register either through the Hajj Savings Scheme or the regular mode of payment run by states. Intending pilgrims from Kaduna State are expected to start with initial deposits, 1.5 million naira, before the final announcement of the actual fare by NACON. Speaking at the occasion, Executive Secretary of the agency, Dr. Yusuf Yakubu, said measures have been taken to ensure that the exercise is hitch-free. Mun canza fasali yanzu na aikin haji yanzu hatta biyan kudin nan yanzu aka biya ina office zan iya gane cewa ga wanda suka biya a gara nan da suka biya domin akwai korafe daban-daban wanda yake samu cewa suna biyan kudin su amma sai ga cewa in wani ya zo ni min alfarma to sai kuma aji wanda ya fara biya sai a sa mai alfarma wancin da ya biya sai a wanda wannan ya sanya maka gyara tsari yanzu duk wanda yake biya yana biya ana cikin da sunan salamu samu labarin sa zamu gansa kuma ba mai canza masa ainihin wato kujaran sa in his remarks the emir of zazo ambassador ahmed nuhu bamali called on hajj officials not to discriminate against prospective pilgrims 
during the registration exercise, advising that the process must not be allowed to be hijacked by unscrupulous elements. The Emir further warned that Hajj officials must not compromise merit when forming committees during Hajj, particularly that of medical and ulama. As health workers, health workers only health personnel. See, maswa azi abaru authenticated malamai wanda kusambaza sije suru damu taniwa. In Ogun State, the State Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board has also commenced pilgrims registration for 2023 Hajj. A statement by the Executive Secretary of the Board, Al Haji Salau Babatunde, says intending pilgrims are to pay the initial deposit of 2 million naira pending the release of the final Hajj fare by the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON. Al Haji Salau further said provisions have been made for those who are interested in registering for the Hajj through the Hajj Savings Scheme. In a related development, Kano State Pilgrims Welfare Board has announced the sum of 1.5 million naira as the initial deposit for pilgrims wishing to participate in the 2023 Hajj exercise. Executive Secretary of the Board Muhammad Abba Dambatta disclosed this in Kano while addressing journalists. He said the board has secured the approval of the state government to receive the deposits. Dambatta further states that the board will give priority to the pilgrims who registered with the state but missed the 2022 Hajj exercise. More states are expected to commence registration just as Narcon officials and other stakeholders are embarking on pre-Hajj visit to Saudi Arabia for discussions with service providers. Meanwhile, the chairman of Oyo State Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board, Professor Sayyid Malik, has led other officials of the board to submit the report of 2022 Hajj exercise to the state's governor, Sheyi Makinde. While receiving the report at Government House in Ibadan, the governor appreciated the chairman, other members and staff of the board for a successful Hajj operation despite the hitches faced. He then charged the board to start preparation for the 2023 Hajj in order to avoid last time rush. In his remarks, Professor Sayyid promised to carry out all the directives given by the governor, including that of refunding those who missed the 2022 Hajj and want their money back. In other news, the management of Asman Airline has congratulated Muslims and the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, on the restoration of the pre-COVID-19 Hajj slots to Nigeria, thus bringing the figure to 95,000. This was announced by the Saudi Ministry of Hajj and Umrah in December last year. The managing director also applauds NACON for its early preparation for the 2023 Hajj saying that the move will make the exercise less cumbersome. If you are just tuning in, the program is As You Answer the Call, designed to update you on the activities of the National Heart Commission of Nigeria, NACON, and other heart-related matters. Now to our spotlight segment and tonight, we are looking at what NACON is doing to ensure that Nigerian pilgrims are educated and enlightened on Hajj and Umrah, as well as on the mandate of Narcon and stakeholders in the Hajj industry. Keep watching. Every year, the National Hatch Commission of Nigeria, NACAN, conducts education and enlightenment programs to keep intending pilgrims informed about the do's and don'ts of Hajj and Umrah. This is in line with the act establishing the commission. 
The Act mandates the Commission to conduct educative and enlightenment campaigns on Hajj and Umrah in all the states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. In achieving this obligation, NACON collaborates and trains officials from states' pilgrims, welfare boards, agencies, and commissions. So we do conduct, um, train the trainers course on them. So those who directly in, uh, interact with the pilgrims, as the state, pilgrims, welfare board agencies and commission, and uh, then our zonal offices as well, and our outreaches everywhere in the country, they go there to train those state pilgrims, welfare board staff. Uh, because they also have pilgrims enlightenment and orientation in their various states. So they train their staff that, that they would have made available and then those ones will return now begin to interact with the pilgrims. From Nigeria right through to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Nakan ensures that intending pilgrims are well educated about all aspects of Hajj operations. This include both the spiritual and civic aspects. We are bent on ensuring that uh, pilgrims are properly well briefed about uh, what should happen in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as it affects the spiritual um, aspect of the Hajj and also their civic uh, aspect. And even beyond that, they also need to have um, further orientation, orientation about how certain facilities are, are utilized. Still at Nakon level, there is a division specifically set up to enlighten and educate pilgrims on all aspects of Hajj so that they can perform the Hajj properly and get value for their money. This division takes orientation campaigns to the pilgrims across the country with the support of state pilgrims' boards. Nakan provides free books on Hajj rights translated into major Nigerian languages for distribution to pilgrims in order to ease their understanding of the Hajj. This materials uh, that were written in English, we have taken further step to have them translated into various uh, major Nigerian languages, like the Hausa language, where we have the bunk of the pilgrims, then uh, the Yoruba language, and uh, even some of these materials, there are some we also put uh, in uh, Igbo language. Uh, yes, in the spirit of uh, uh, fairness. In what? Then also, we have um, even in full food day. These guidelines provided by Nakan to intending pilgrims touches all aspects of Hajj. The area that we make the pilgrims obtain their Hajj Mabru, that is, what we make them perform their Hajj better like all the essential or pillars of Hajj, starting from Ihram, then Arafah, Tawaful Ifado, Sahi between Montesafa and Marwa. So then we teach them that some obligations, seven obligation of Hajj, other aspects of enlightenment include passport handling, aviation and airport related rules, accommodation facilities management, luggage handling, and exchange rate and more. The commission, in collaboration with other stakeholders, does not take chances in ensuring that no pilgrims from Nigeria carries any item that is prohibited to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Those that will not be accepted in, 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 inside the aircraft, we have a picture of them, like cutleries, uh, I mean, like knife, nail, needle, oil, water, all this group of items that they have forbidden that you can't take inside the, 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 the plane. All of them we know that because they, they remove them at the airport. But we also have, we also have a part, part, part of the enlightenment we do is that as we go around the country, we brief them, we show them all the posters and all these old pictures that we have taken. In Saudi Arabia, anybody that carry drug 
for some certain grams is death penalty in Saudi Arabia. So we used to tell them, and not only that, don't help another plenary to carry their bag. Because you don't know what that plague means put in the bag. You may not carry drug, but there are somebody that may carry drug and they don't want to carry that bag and they will ask you to help them carry it. Recently, in its efforts to align with modern trends in its enlightenment drive, Narcon is considering partnering with a Pakistani-based company to develop seamless simulation of all hatch rights. Also now are using um, uh, internet facilities. Yes, we are designing so many programs. We have an ICT company that is designing for us a metaverse, metaverse simulation, where evil pilgrims who don't understand anything, they will be taught all the rights, the do's and the do's of Hajj, through demonstration, as if they are already there in the kingdom. They are taught to through it how to even observe the ihram, the places where they are going to take uh, their intentions at various mekat, uh, as, as with uh, roots, as with uh, roots and uh, Medina, right through to Mecca, where they should take uh, where they should take their ihram. To achieve uniformity in delivering information to Nigerian pilgrims, the commission inspects Hajj camps and enlightenment centers across the country where pilgrims are put through Hajj and Umrah rites. Pilgrims' education and enlightenment remains key in Nakan's line of activities which help pilgrims to attain their ultimate goals of achieving Hajj Mabrur. Lessons learned from this year are meant to serve as an experience to make it better next year. We already started the strategy and the plan for next year's Hajj. We know that Allah's willing, it will be much more better than the experience that has just ended. Masha Allah, coming up next is making the Hajj. Tonight, Dr. Khalid Ali will discuss how should a pilgrim prepare for Hajj. Let's hear him. Labbaik, labbaik, Allahumma labbaik, 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 Allahumma labbaik, labbaik. In preparations for the Hajj, intending pilgrims must get themselves ready and be in the frame of mind to discharge the Hajj rites properly. How then are pilgrims expected to prepare themselves before and during the Hajj? What is a word where that you should get provision of preparation? Tonight on Making the Hajj, Dr. Khalid Aliu answers this and other questions. He begins by explaining the spiritual preparations or the intention to go for Hajj. And complete the performance of the rituals of Hajj for no any other consideration but for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One has to be, to be prepared spiritually when your intention in all the aspects of worship we perform intention is cardinal it's, it's, it's a pillar your intention why do you want to go it is a serious commitment between servant and his Lord creator subhanahu wa ta'ala intending pilgrims must ensure that the source of money for the Hajj is lawful they must also make available what their families will need for the period they will be away in the Holy Land. This is part of the financial preparations. Really to avail himself of all responsibilities. If um, you have taken loan from other people, uh, you, you, you have taken, you, if, 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 if you owe you or you are being owed, then you have to settle whatever is a responsibility of others to you. Is very important, and that you know you cannot go for Hajj while your your family at home have no food. You understand? You have to settle school fees. Nobody says that you take a loan and go for Hajj. How should pilgrims prepare educationally? You have to you have to have the 
the Islamic knowledge education preparation to know how to perform this Hajj. How to perform this? How is it performed? Into how many categories is Hajj divided? And what are the pillars of Hajj? What are the obligatory steps of Hajj? What are the Sunnah steps of Hajj? What validates Hajj and what vitiates or invalidates my Hajj? These ones, one has to do them. As much as they can, intending pilgrims should prepare themselves mentally, physically, and medically. Who are not walking friendly, walk friendly, it is important that is, then they should really have to start. And that uh, medically it is said that at least in a day one takes at least uh, 30 minutes walk. I mean some, some hundreds and hundreds or thousands of steps, very important. Because to do the circumambulation, the tawaf, you know, is a very serious, uh, to do the sai, which is going from uh, 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 Safa and Marwa, is also rigorous. Similarly, seeking Allah's forgiveness and reconciling with those that may have been offended are also some of the requirements to be fulfilled by persons preparing to perform the Hajj. Tawbah and istighfar, repentance to Allah and seeking for his forgiveness because he is going for a spiritual journey. This is indeed very important. And that uh, in the neighborhood, let him, for those him, whom he has wronged, let him ask for their understanding and for their pardon and so on, even to the family, to the kid and kin, the relationship and so on, then he sets for this very important journey. Most importantly, Dr. Khalid Aliu points out, intending pilgrims must be conscious of Allah and also respect the rules and regulations governing the Hajj exercise. Now it's time to know the winner of last week's quiz and the question for this week. Good luck. Welcome to the quiz segment. The question in the last episode was, which type of Hajj is recommended for pilgrims in Nigeria? The correct answer is Hajj Tamattu. The winner is Oshukunle Mutairu Adeyemi from Bauchi State. He provided the answer ahead of others. Oshukunle Mutairu Adeyemi will be contacted on how Nakon will reach him with the prize he won. A quiz winner will get 25,000 Naira cash prize. This is part of Nakon's effort in social investment in Nigeria. Now to the quiz for this week and the question is, what differentiates Hajj Tamattut from Hajj Kiran? Again, what differentiates Hajj Tamattut from Hajj Kiran? Text your answer to the number showing on your screen. The winner will be the first person whose correct answer is received. All answers should carry the name and location of sender. Good luck and happy viewing. Once again, good luck to you. Up next are your messages. <laughs> Umar Muhammad from Kaduna State sent in the first message. It reads, Assalamu alaikum. I want to appreciate Nakon's effort in enlightening the general public about the do's and don'ts of Hajj. May Allah help you all. The second message was sent from GSM number 08021391780. It says, I would like to commend Nakon's effort in making the Hajj Training Institute a reality. Keep it up. This is where we draw the curtain on today's program. See you same time next week with another edition of the program. But before we go, remember that you can send in your messages, comments, observations, and questions through our mobile phone number and other social media platforms. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا